in the flesh. Future Hall of Famer, three-time Stanley Cup in a Minnesota Wild uniform, getting his second start here tonight for the Minnesota Wild. Underway in St. Paul, Fiala fires right on goal and a save by Jones. Got it back and feeds the line. Spurgeon moves in, centers Erickson, Eck, a shot, and that was deflected wide. And at the top here, Jared Spurgeon always has his head up, finds Erickson, Eck coming through the slot. That was the play there on Atkinson that gets called 95% of the time there when you get... A couple nights ago, the Philadelphia Flyers lost in Nashville, had a couple two-goal leads. It's been a tough grind here for this squad on the road. 1-13-2. Yes, you heard me correctly in their last 16 games. In the game, they lost to the Wild in Philadelphia when the Flyers had four one-goal leads in what turned out to be a 5-4 Minnesota win. Polino wheels and fires, and that one caught the post. A great great group there and I've always been a huge fan of uh, of Mike Yo and I'll always wish for him to have some success. He loved it here in fact we talked this morning before the game had a great chat with him where he makes a save on this rush back into his own zone for Merrill loose puck picked up by Brown works out of the corner, Brown fires saved by Fleury Duhane comes away with it for Minnesota plays it off the boards, tries to pick it up on the other side of Sandheim and does Duhane to Kaprizov and a sliding save by Jones Duhane back of the net for Dumba his sharp angle shot is blocked total during the six game win streak York sends it across Flurry with a save, rebound was loose for a moment and then Flurry able to cover up and get a whistle Dumba works down low out front for Boldy just failed to connect now Boley on another try, and a blocker saved by Jones. Goudreau to Fiala. Fiala moves to the middle, tried to center, comes loose to Goudreau. Boley centers, Dumba scores! Matt Dumba jumping up into the play. Look at the tic-tac-toe play along the top here. Goudreau down to Boldy. He knows where that puck's going to go before it gets to his stick. He puts it right on Matt Boldy, or right on Matt Dubba's stick, and he just has to shovel it right to the left of the goaltender. They're next to last one on the road. Their penalty kill just a shade over 70%. Kaprizov moves in, scores! His third power play goal in the last five games now just moves to the outside. Again, Jones, no idea where the puck is. They planted this tree here earlier in the power play. Erickson Eck and Jones cannot pick up the puck at all. It goes off his shoulder and goes in the net. And Krill says, hey, Ecker, thank you very much. We wondered about the potential of a trap game here tonight, Wes. A team on a six-game win streak. Pittsburgh coming on Thursday night. One of the bottom teams in the league coming in Philadelphia. Minnesota certainly answered that challenge early. Middleton to Felino. One touch through for Erickson Eck. His long shot. Greenway scores! The big ring on the rebound, and it's 3 0 Minnesota. That was the old pass off the pads play. Doesn't. Doesn't try to do too much with this here. Just get the puck on net. He knows Jordan Wingry is going to the net. If anything spits out and then the big rig just using that 230 pound frame to get inside the defender. If I can just chip this up over the top of the goalie in the top half of the net. A centering pass. Greenway fanned on it. Now Spurgeon controls. Spurgeon moves in. Tried to center. Looking for a tip by Greenway and Jones got a piece of it. Provorov holds his own, a centering pass deflected, Flurry with a save. Rebound controlled back to the net by Middleton. What a wild penalty kill. Little redirect there by Atkinson, just staying tight, staying solid, staying square to the puck. And... Boldy works past Provorov. Into the corner, out to Goudreau, a shot, saved by Jones. Yeah, it was a great scoring chance here. Matt Boldy using his left leg to screen off the defenders. Nice little backhand pass in there to Freddie Goudreau and did not have a whole lot to shoot at. They're at full strength, Ristolainen out of the box. 
Ristolainen centers. There will be a shot. Saved by Flurry. And then he stops Ristolainen on the rebound. Saves this period. Three of them have come in the last minute and a half. Resent Minnesota. Fiala plays it softly down into Philadelphia territory. Minnesota gets a much needed change. What a smart, mature play there by Kevin Fiala. Joe centers to Hame with a shot right on and a save by Jones. For weekday games, this wild team has just created such a buzz in the state of hockey. Greenway works out from behind the net, centers, and Felino's denied by Jones. All this year, 19 goals on 79 shots. He comes up just empty here. Yeah, great pass there by Jordan Greenway looking for his buddy on the back door. A left-handed shot. Puts it right on his tape. Kind of handcuffed Marcus Foligno just a little bit. Kind of went underneath Jones's. Freddie Goodrow moves in. A penalty coming against Philadelphia. Goodrow circles the net. Goodrow for Kulikov. Kulikov into the corner. Fiala scores! What a snipe by Kevin Fiala! And it's 4-0 Minnesota! Of late, great look there into the corner. Basically no angle, and Kevin Fiala had maybe the width of a puck to get this puck up over the shoulder of Jones. Where does the puck go when you're on fire? Right over the shoulder of Jones. Before they close out this franchise record nine game homestand Thursday night against Pittsburgh. Fiala moves in a shot saved by Jones. And the rebound controlled by Atkinson. The first face off at the start of the game, Kevin Fiala had a great scoring chance. That's two periods in a row. Out front, Flurry with a save. A point blank chance. And Flurry makes one of his better stops of the night. Knowing that you've got a backup goalie or another 1A goalie that can just jump in there, just takes the pressure off. Flurry trying to find the puck in a pile of bodies. And he does. He'll get a whistle. Trying to look through the trees here. Sandheim throwing the puck in here on the net. Mark andre Flurry trying to look for the loose puck again. I mentioned always never far from that second. Again, Fiala got a stick on it, but Sandheim holds. Sandheim moves in, pad save, Flurry. Rebound, knocked away, and then flipped into the empty net. An unfortunate bounce for Minnesota, and Morgan Frost able to poke it past Mark andre Flurry for Philadelphia's first goal. James Van Riemsdyk always around the front of the net here. You see Jared Spurgeon tries to flip the puck out, and it lands right on Frost. Like it looked like it hit him in the visor and went right onto his stick. Tries to clear it out, hits him in the breezers. In Canada, we call those hockey pants. I call them breezers now. I've been here long enough, and Frost is just able to slip that puck past Mark andre Fleur. And now the second minor penalty against Jost kicks in, so another two minutes of man advantage for Philadelphia. Greenway in shorthanded! And he couldn't get a shot away. He tried to drag it by Jones and lost control of the puck. Here's a chance for Tippett. He lost the puck, but a penalty coming. York centers and a redirect. Van Riemsdijk denied by Fleury. What a stop by Mark andre Fleury. Be a man short. Huge stop by Fleury. 4-1 Minnesota. Atkinson. Circles up high. Tries to lose Goudreau. Flurry slides across with a blocker save. And the final seconds wind down. The crowd roars as Minnesota stretches the win streak to seven. And the hottest team in the NHL.